Hello everyone, this is Mr. Graves. Today I'm showing you how to download mods for the brand new version of Minecraft 1.16.1. And also I'm going to be showing you how to also download Forge 1.16.1. So this is a guide on how to install mods from scratch. All you have to have is Minecraft Java Edition and have to run Minecraft 1.16.1 at least once. What you want to do is you want to go to First, we're going to go to files.minecraftforge.net. I'm going to go to 1.16 over here. Click on that, and then there's only one version on here. We can go to install. This right here is just an add. If it tells you to block stuff, make sure you block it. Don't press download now. Press skip, and then you finally get your forge. Now you want to put this into your downloads folder. Next, what you need to do is you need to go to the second link down in the description. It's where you get your mods. You can go to 1.16.1 so we can filter it. That's not right. 1.16.1. There we go. I should filter it. And now we have all the mods for 1.16.1. Let's get just enough items because that one's a really good mod. You can go to files because as you can see it's for 1.12 and that is not the version you want. Since there is no version on here, we're going to go to view all. And then there we go. So right here, we're just gonna press download right there. Or also you can do this through the Twitch app, but soon it will be going to the Overwolf app, whatever that is. And so um, so this will probably be outdated pretty soon for Twitch. Next we wanna do is you have to go to percent sign, app data, percent sign, and go to dot Minecraft. And then if there is not a mods folder, create one. Go to mods, and then I'm going to delete these mods because these are for a different, wrong version of Minecraft. So, you you won't have any mods here, but I do. In that JEI, and there we go. Next, what you have to do is you have to go back to our downloads folder. And it's right here. We have to double click on that. You have to go to install client, press OK. And just make it save to the default location because that is the easiest thing to do. This will take a little while as you are loading up the new forge for the first time. If you load it up again, it won't take as long. So there you go. It should almost be done. Just rendering everything. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to restart a Minecraft launcher, so just close that and open it back up. And so there we go. You should have something labeled forge with 1.16.1 forge. And press play. Just like this. We can just open this up, put it on full screen, and then I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so now that we're in the game, as you can see, we have some new stuff on the side. We have Forge, and also we have this warning. This usually does not appear, but since it is a brand new Forge, it'll say Forge Beta. Major issues may arise before report. Verify before recording, so. If there is some issues, it's probably not your fault. It is actually, um, it's just that the forge is very, very new. And you want to create a new world because if you actually do a world, you'll have to load it up with the same mod if it actually adds stuff. But since JEI is just a utility mod, you don't have to. But you can just. But I recommend that you create a new world whenever you load or unload a mod. Go creative mode, and yeah, we can just create a new world. Now it's creating the world, and hopefully our mod will work. And if it doesn't, then just because the forge is brand new, or if the mod is unstable. There we go. Let's open this up, and as you can see, we have our mod on the side. This usually is not in Minecraft. I don't think we have someone on this video. If you watch out, we really appreciate it. If you were to hit that red subscribe button, as it greatly supports the channel a lot. See you guys all next time, and...